Good afternoon, welcome to Build. And yeah, we are going to be talking today about how to configure uh, Power Apps Copilot to uh, talk with your Dataverse data and beyond, not, not just uh, Dataverse data. So let's quick review and then so you ca we can jump right into the demo because we only have 15 minutes. So yeah, Alex Rostein here. Uh, I'm Microsoft MVP in business applications uh, and also working as a uh, Microsoft practice lead in Toronto, Canada. Uh, I've been working on the Microsoft space and partner for the last 15 years, 16 years. And also as the community activities, I'm a leader of a couple of uh, power platform user groups and North America and South America too. And with a friend, we run a YouTube channel uh, that is pretty funny. So you can show to the channel that we're trying to mix Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric and talk about how to mix those words, you know, data and business applications. So happy to have you there. So let's jump into the configure uh, your Power Apps Copilot. How many of you knows about Power Platform and Power Apps particular? Okay, yeah, have a mixed call. Okay, great. So. Uh, before I start, uh, let's review what is the Power Platform. Uh, Many for, for those who know, those who know, like, know my, Microsoft Power Platform is a suite of tools that are designed to empower uh, individuals and companies in some way to build applications, uh, automate workflows, uh, building business cases, uh, analyze data, and also create agents uh, with minimal coding or no coding. I know some of you are going to say, hey, Alex, I know we can code a lot on Power Platform. Yeah, you go, you can. But the, the main objective is to have that on a low code. So we have Power BI for data analytics, Power Apps for applications, Power Automate to run, uh, business flows, and then we have Copilot Studio to create agents. So today we are going to be seeing how to mix and leverage capacities and capabilities for Copilot Studio and Power Up. So let's jump into the demo. I promise, I have a demo, promise. So here we are. This is our Canvas Power App application. Uh, what are you seeing there on the screen? It's just a view of the of a Dataverse table. Okay, this is just demo data about companies, uh, revenues, uh, locations, and and numbers. So what we want to build is how to create a, a copilot how to use the Power App Copilot, that is the one you can see here at the top, here, how to configure that Copilot to be able to talk with our data. So we can start asking questions about the data we are seeing on our Power Apps. This is one of the cases I want to show you today, but also I want to show you what else we can do with the same Copilot, so we don't need to create different Copilot to do different things, so, and then, the other thing I want to show you is uh, how to use here on model-driven application the copilot we have here to do the same, to talk with our data and also be able to visualize on a like a BI or business intelligence report what we are asking, what we are talking with the with the copilot. So let's start quickly with the copilot studio. So this is the home page for copilot studio. And let's assume we are going to connect and create uh, a new copilot to use on our Power App application. So let's create here the copilot. Let's create the agent. And let's set it up quickly. So let's let's go here quickly. 
as you can see here on the copilot, I have three knowledge sources. Uh, accounts tables that came from Dataverse, that is the information we are seeing here on the Power, Power App, okay? And is it pretty much the same information we are seeing here in this other Power App. Then we have SharePoint and public website. We will talk later about that. So what I need to do to connect this copilot we have here with the Dataverse table is just on the copilot, say, connect. Hello? OK. Connect with Dataverse. Click on Dataverse. Then search for my tables. In this case, the table was account and then click next, okay? This is the first step. I have that configured. Let me show you quickly another point here in the meanwhile. I think that is, is really interesting. So after you create your copilot, you just click on publish. And here came the good thing. It's on your Power Apps. Let's wait a second here. We just need to come here to Settings, click on Settings, and then here on Copilot, we select the Copilot we want to use on the Power Apps. So, as you can see here, I have a bunch of copilot for different demos. I'm going to select this one, Power App Copilot Microsoft V25. And then close and save. And then also publish. So what's going to happen is once I run the application, if I click here again on the copilot, I will be able to start asking questions to the Power Apps or the Copilot about data I am seeing on the Power App and also the whole table. So let's assume like, uh, which is uh, the most profitable company in Redmond. So you can also see a couple of old results, but uh, you know, the most profitable company in Redmond is City Power of Light. And if you check here on the left-hand side, City Power of Light is one of the most profitable, profitable uh, companies with $100,000. One comment here, and this is the example, uh, you can ask on different language. You know, I, I ask here in Spanish, as you can infer from my stone, and native in Spanish, you can ask Spanish, French, Portuguese, and the compiler is going to understand you anyways. You don't need to configure and do anything to ask the same questions in different language. But let's go one step forward. Let's test the same thing on model-driven applications. And let's ask here, which are the top three most profitable companies in Redmond? This is the work. Oh, something. Okay. Uh, give me a second. You know, the things happen, but don't worry. Let's play again. Okay. So here, that should, okay. 
something wrong with the queries. Don't worry. Okay, let's let's continue with the copilot. What? Okay, just to let you know, what I should do is the same thing. Should show me the same result uh, we are seeing on the model Canvas application, but also filtering the table and show you a nice graphic of what happened with that. So, but as I mentioned before, what we have here is other sources. For example, I have a SharePoint document library here, a SharePoint site that have a couple of documents that talk about products and supplies for the companies, okay? This is what this sample SharePoint site had. So I added here that as a source table, okay, so as a knowledge source, SharePoint document. So let's check something here, just to be sure. And let's support Ray for Late, it's so clickly, uh, so ticks would supply. So let's return to the copilot. So let's publish that again. And let's return to the app. And if I Ask here, it's live, there's nothing record here. Nothing recorded here. Where it is located, rainforest exotic wood supplies. That should, you know, rainforest wood supply is located in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And also that give us the link to the Word document that was referring to that. So what is a good point here is like, you are creating a copilot for your Power Apps and you not need to connect just with Dataverse. You can connect with SharePoint to bring more additional information of what the user is looking and working on the Power Apps. And also you can connect with external sources. I did here like a quick sample to connect with the Microsoft portal. You know, so just www.microsoft.com. And if I came here to the app, let's assume that you have your public portal with your information about the company or the client or all. You can ask, I don't know, what is the Microsoft vision? And also say Microsoft vision statement is to empower every person. I think we all know about the vision of Microsoft, but what Reflective is doing is taking from the Microsoft site what it's doing. So the point here is like, you can configure your Power App Copilot and connect with any data source. Let's imagine you are using uh, Workday, uh, ServiceNow, any internal system that you have developed and you have some REST APIs exposed, you can connect the copilot, uh, the Power App copilot with those data sources. So you can make the, 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 the journey for the user working with data, trying to get more information uh, easy. You don't need to navigate to different system like SharePoint, they need to work something, uh, search for something on Word, they, they don't serve it, like to create a ticket. We can integrate everything on the same copilot, but also host it into the Power App copilot. So that is the, the point. Thank you very much. That's all for today. <laughs>